For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Presenting the challenger, Big. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big punch land. Kick to the body by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Chin down, hands up. And a nice left hand there on the inside. And they separate. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. 
Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice. Look at him drive his shit into the whole body with that body kick. Lands the right hand. Single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage. And that certainly helped him in that exchange. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Big kick lands. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Unable to connect with the right. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Punch over the top. Body kick now by Lee. Lands flush with that right hand. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. That was a thudding leg kick. Trying to do damage now. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Knee to the body. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar side, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. And he continues to work the body here. Just misses with the right hook. Wow, what a kick! Nice punch lands over the top. Head kick. Nice one-two there. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, single collar tie now. Whiffs on the right hand. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Beautiful body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Leg kick. How about that shin? All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice hook there by Lee. Oh, big head kick. And follows up with another one. Tags him with the left. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Body kick is blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice body kick right under the elbow. He loaded up there on that high kick. Nice kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He throws the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Lee gets hit with a kick. Back and forth we go! Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. How good is that right hand? Finish, finish, finish. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Hey, stop. Okay. Relax, recover. Got the better of you with the strike in that round. We're smarter than he is. He's gonna... All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. 
all those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. and so accurate. Nice leg kick lands. Huge knee lands. And they separate. Right hand on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Pretty good right hand. Big kick lands. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high the court. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Visibly limping here. It's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That strike blocked by Lee. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Beautiful body. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Let's focus now. Lee going for the leg kick, he does not connect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Kick to the body is blocked. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Nice straight punch. Nice body kick. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds.
a bad round, but you're forcing those leg kicks too much. Let's not do that. Yeah. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that Nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Great punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent. Oh! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, my God! And just misses with that big right hand. And they separate. that jab once again. Three minutes. Big body to land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Nice right punch followed by a left. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to his heart so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Can't take many of those, you better check. Under two minutes now to go in the round. His opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Good stick. Right hand upstairs. Some nice back and forth action here. Looking for that left hand, not there. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late and both asking the question, how do I get this done? Great punch landing with so much power. Right hand upstairs. Another big shot to the head. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
30 seconds to go here. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Real nice body kick land. Both fighters throwing heat now. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Check the high kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Real quick leg kick. Let those hands go. And that one certainly found the target. by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Hands up, hands up. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. And that left hook landed on the button. the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big punch land. Back to the jab now. No good. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Collar tie. Liver kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick. Being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, looked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice. Shots landing on both sides here. Now connects with a right. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Defense there, huge block. Oh, 
significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Just misses with that one. Oh, nice counter punch there. Oh! out an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so we've got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.